Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Games. Here are 7 insane secrets about Kaneko Kitten. Number 7, he has a twin brother. Brian has a brother who is also his twin. His name is Chase and he also owns a YouTube channel called Sia. It was formerly called See Ya Boobs. It is known that Brian discovered Roblox with his brother when they misspelled the robot in the Google search bar. He searched Roblox, which was a typo for robots, and ended up finding Roblox. Brian has been playing Roblox since 2008. His first account was named BigBoys567, and the account was owned by both him and his brother. His brother is also in a relationship with a musical artist, Naku or Squibblers, who also owns a YouTube channel by the name of Miskeeping on YouTube. Brian claims that he is the only odd one out in his family. Number 6, Controversy with the Usernames. Some time ago, Kaneko Kitten was about to be banned from Roblox. He got some hate due to Cyrillic and special usernames being reset sometime later after a video about the subject on his YouTube channel. Because of this, he made a video explaining about the reset, asserting and claimed that it was a coincidence that the usernames were reset at the same time when he uploaded the original video on special usernames. One user watched his video and told the Cyrillic username to the Roblox team by emailing on roblox.com support with terminating, resetting, and any future Cyrillic usernames, or maybe a Roblox staff saw the video and reset the username themselves. At number 5, he is called Flamingo's Clone. Flamingo, also known as Albert Spencer Aretz, is an American YouTuber who also uploads videos on Roblox gameplay. He is known for his funny style videos. People often call Kaneko Kitten Flamingo's clone because voices resemble each other a lot and their style of adding commentary in their videos is somewhat similar. Both Brian and Albert are very good friends. They even follow each other on social media accounts, indicating that there's no sort of robbery between them. Brian first paid no heed towards these comments, but they started to grow and this made Brian upset. He even filtered Flamingo's name on his comment section as people were constantly calling him out on mimicking Flamingo's content when in reality he is really not doing that. He also talked to Albert regarding this matter as how he filtered his name and how so many people were comparing him with Flamingo's style. Flamingo understood him and agreed that it does get annoying, after all, this is why they are still very, very close friends. Number 4, he has work other than YouTube. Brian is that YouTuber you not only see spend time making YouTube videos, but also goes to work. He used to work at a subway before making his own YouTube channel, and today he also goes to work and gives 6 hours each day to his job, and then later when he comes back home he gets 4-5 to five hours into making a YouTube video for his fans daily. So it's like he manages both his personal life and YouTube life like a pro because he manages to upload videos daily despite his hectic schedule. He says people think being a YouTuber is easy, but it's not because managing personal life and YouTube life is not easy at all. So other than monetizing and demonetizing things by YouTube, being a YouTuber is hard. Number 3, Sexual Orientation Brian Siha aka Kaneko Kitten is pansexual. Pansexual is a sexual orientation where the person is not able to identify his gender, his romantic or emotional attraction, can be towards anyone regardless of their gender, identity, or sex. It is similar like the word bisexual, but bisexual means attracted to multiple genders, whereas pansexual means attracted to all genders. The prefix pan means all, so it means that you are attracted to all sorts of genders. He once came out as transgender, but later took back his decision and continued identifying himself as a male until he revealed about his pansexuality. He does not talk about his sexuality a lot because it's too personal for him, but he did reveal in one of his videos about Jake Paul, after which he got a lot of hate comments. Number 2, being a YouTuber also got him bullied. Brian has always been low-key about his sexuality, but he did tell people about his pansexuality quite a long time ago, but this doesn't stop him from being bullied today also. The fact that he is a pansexual did not go in his favor when it was revealed in one of his videos, as many people unsubscribed from him and he got many hate comments regarding that. He doesn't understand how something which is so personal to him affects other people, and he doesn't force it on other people, and even doesn't mention a lot in his own videos and stuff. So why people bully him on this is something he can't get a hold on. People actually ask him to not be gay as they don't want to subscribe to him. Unbelievable, right? But that's true as he showed some comments in his video. Poor Brian also gets body shamed on YouTube comments too, as someone commented he is so fat and ugly like a pig. Brian responded to his comment by saying that he is not that bad looking as he is 6 foot tall and he does have a little weight, but not that bad looking. Of course, his real fans love him however he is. It is so sad to see that people still bully having no regard for people's feelings. Poor Kaneko Kitten is currently under depression as a result of gender dysphoria. Number 1, Clash with Official Roblox Video Stars Program Last year, Brian received an opportunity to join the official Roblox Video Stars program, but when Roblox team contacted him, they told him that he fulfilled all the criteria, but still was unable to feelable join the program because of his videos which were negatively portraying other Roblox players and YouTubers as it were against the policy of the Roblox Video Stars program. They put out a condition in front of him that if he agrees to remove those videos with negative portrayal, he may join the program. So, to reach a final decision, he made a video describing the situation to his followers, asking them if he should remove his videos and join the program. Later in his video, he stated that he contacted the head of the Roblox program and they discussed the contract and reached a decision where Roblox would view the content of his videos and will reach back to him. Three weeks went by and no communication with Roblox followed. During these three weeks, Brian decided not to join the program to prevent a content lock on his YouTube channel. 
He did not want any corporation to control the videos and content he uploads, as he thought that's what his fans have been supporting, and he will continue to entertain his followers like he did for the past three years. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.